And while many people are ready to say goodbye to 2020 and toast to the coming of the new year, it's important to remember to celebrate safely. ABC 27's Carl Bailey spoke with advocates and law enforcement officials about staying sober on the roads this New Year's Eve. According to AAA, New Year's Eve has consistently been the deadliest day of the year for drunk driving fatalities. And now local advocates are pleading with people in Tallahassee and the surrounding areas to drive sober and save a life. Mothers Against Drunk Driving Northwest Florida Executive Director Kristen Allen speaks frequently with families who live on after seeing loved ones suffer drunk driving fatalities. It is heart wrenching. Um, when you're hearing stories about people who have lost their loved ones in a preventable um, crash uh, due to drunk driving and now they're left to pick up the pieces. Recent data from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration shows Florida ranks second in the nation for total alcohol impaired driving fatalities. And as people turn to their respective coping mechanisms in response to the pandemic, local law enforcement officers urge everyone to be extra careful. This time of year is a happy season. And definitely if you are involved in any kind of situation where you're driving drunk, you compound any kind of trauma or any kind of heartache within families right now because of the fact of it's very easy to get into a drunk driving incident, but it's very hard to get out of it. Now, those caught under driving under the influence rather can have their license taken away from, from them for up to six months. And also important to note, AAA will not be providing their tow to go service this year due to the pandemic. So remember to designate a driver and plan ahead for rideshare services. Live in Tallahassee, Cara Bailey, ABC 27.